Uh, today, I'm going to be starting with the other kinds of uh, demand elasticities. So, uh, if you note, uh, elasticity is basically change in the quantity demanded. It tells you the responsiveness of the quantity demanded. When we talk about demand elasticity, it is telling you about the change or the responsiveness of the quantity demanded. But in which respect we study this change, it depends on which elasticity we are talking about. We were talking about price elasticity. If the price change, how much the quantity demanded will be in the quantity demanded. If it will be more, that is called as highly elastic. If it will be less, it will be less elastic. You know that demand or specifically quantity demanded gets affected by several other factors as well. And we have studied uh, these factors such as income or uh, such as prices of other commodities. Now these other commodities could be uh, either complementary goods or uh, substitute goods. We have some factors. Padhe hai. So today we will be specifically talking about elasticities with respect to these factors, starting with income elasticity. Now the concept of elasticity stays the same, which is that you are talking about the change in the quantity demanded. We are talking about the income elasticity of quantity demanded, income elasticity of demand, uh, which is percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in income. So if you can recall the formula of price elasticity of demand, we know that it is percentage change in quantity demanded by percentage change in prices. Now the only thing that's changing here is the denominator, which is the factor with which respect to which we are studying the change in the quantity demanded. So we are basically saying that there will be some change in income how this change in income would affect the change in quantity demanded is what we are trying to understand through income elasticity. It will tell you that if income changes by 1%, what percentage change would it create in your demand, in your quantity demanded? So uh, you basically have to be very, very careful with how you are stating the demand, the elasticity. First, you will see that it is parts in divided. Hai. जो फर्स्ट टर्म होता है यहां पे वो आपको बताता है कि आप किसके रेफरेंस में चेंज को समझ रहे हो सो वी हैव सो फार टॉक्ड अबाउट प्राइस इलास्टिसिटी इसलिए यू हैव द फर्स्ट टर्म एज प्राइस देन यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इलास्टिसिटी दैट्स व्हाई यू हैव द टर्म इलास्टिसिटी हियर देन द लास्ट टर्म हियर इज डिमांड व्हिच इज बेसिकली टेलिंग यू जो न्यूमरेटर में है दैट इज यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द चेंज इन द डिमांड यू कैन आल्सो हैव सप्लाई हियर व्हिच यू विल इवेंचुअली रीड इन द फोर्थकमिंग क्लासेस so uh, you have to be very clear with which particular elasticity you are talking about first term tells you jo denominator mein hai Sec the last term tells you jo numerator mein hai aur beech mein you have elasticity so the term which precedes elasticity is in the denominator and the term which succeeds elasticity or which is after which is written after elasticity is in the numerator that has to be uh, you know clear so when we talk about price elasticity of demand, it is percentage change in quantity demanded with respect to percentage change in price. When we are talking about income elasticity of demand, then we are talking about change in quantity demanded, percentage change in quantity demanded with respect to percentage change in income. Now, uh, we have two kinds of commodities. When we talk about income, we can categorize commodities into two types. We are saying that normal goods are like that, when your consumption increases when your income increases. And uh, inferior goods are goods when your consumption decreases when your income increases. So basically, uh, you can talk about it in reference to the basic type of goods, not quality of goods. Because quality essentially is a different parameter. You know, where you're saying it is a bad, it is a destroyed product. We're not talking about that. We are just saying that, for example, uh, abhi aap office ja rahe ho, or aap maybe you are using bus to go to the office. The moment your income increases, maybe you will take a cab or a taxi. Now, we are not saying that the quality of bus is poorer than the quality of taxi. We are not talking about it. We are just saying that bus ride as a service is an inferior service, which basically 
experiences a decrease in consumption when income increases whereas taxi if income increases your consumption of taxi might increase yeah so that is the difference between inferior and normal goods and why we are talking about inferior and normal goods is because that will tell you the sign of the income elasticity so if we are talking about normal goods which say that they share a positive relationship with income that is when income increases quantity demanded increases so we can say that elasticity specifically income elasticity of normal goods will be positive whereas income elasticity of inferior goods will be negative why negative because inferior goods tend to have an inverse relationship that is when income increases quantity demanded decreases so income elasticity of demand will depend on the fact that whether we are talking about a normal good or an inferior good also the intensity of elasticity talk about say normal goods whether the elasticity is equal to 1 or elasticity is equal to 3 or elasticity is equal to 10 will also provide you different cases agar elasticity 1 hai to iska matlab hai ki quantity response kam hai change in quantity response to income is less as compared to a situation where income elasticity is equal to 10 here you are saying that for 1 percentage change in income your quantity change will be 10% your quantity is increasing by 10% if the income is changing by 1% whereas elasticity equal to 1 represents the fact that your uh, income changes by 1% and your quantity also changes by 1% your demand also changes by 1% so that is how you interpret these numbers if they are positive it means that you are talking about a normal good if they are negative it means you are talking about an inferior good but even in positive and negative the intensity of elasticity or the intensity of the responsiveness will be judged by the number so if i talk about say um minus 1.5 and minus 5 both of them are representing inferior goods both of them are representing inferior goods always when you are interpreting elasticities don't get confused with the fact that minus 5 as a number is smaller than minus 1 i mean if you look at it mathematically you know that minus 5 is a smaller number as compared to minus 1.5 so don't uh miss conclude from this knowledge of maths that minus 5 is a smaller number hence minus 5 is less elastic no in fact minus 5 is more elastic because minus here is only telling you the relationship between income and quantity the actual magnitude the actual change in the quantity is represented by the fact that with one percentage increase in income your consumption or your demand will drop by 5% whereas in this particular case with 1% increase in income your demand is decreasing by only 1.5% despite the fact that minus 1.5 is a larger number as a number as a mathematical number it is a larger number as compared to minus 5 but despite that it is less elastic so uh, if we move on to the next uh, elasticity which is the cross price elasticity now we also know that uh, demand quantity demanded of a certain commodity can not only get affected by the price of itself like price of the same commodity but also the price of other commodities that, that's exactly what cross price elasticity represents now in this we are going to be talking about two kinds of commodities one substitutes and the other complementary goods now we all know what are substitute goods and what are complementary goods so uh, if i talk about tea as the main commodity jiski hum elasticity ke bare mein baat kar rahe hain then let's consider sugar as a complementary commodity and uh, coffee as a substitute and cross price elasticity how do you define cross price elasticity now again look at the terms that you have cross price is the first term then elasticity of demand so now again you are talking about percentage change in the quantity demanded of the main commodity which is t divided by the percentage change in the price but cross price meaning that we are now not taking the price of t but price of some other commodity 
and it could either be a complementary commodity or a substitute commodity okay so let's first take the case of a substitute commodity where we are saying that what is the percentage change in quantity demanded of tea when there is a percentage change in the price of coffee so when we say that price of coffee increases then we expect people who are consuming coffee to consume tea so the quantity of tea will increase we'll now move on to tea because these are substitute commodities so if people are considering tea and coffee to be the same almost same then if price of coffee increases then you will move to uh, to consumption of tea which means that the quantity demanded of tea will increase so when you take the price of another commodity say a substitute commodity then there is a positive relationship between the price of substitute commodity versus the quantity of the main commodity so your relation will be positive elasticity will be greater than 0 whereas if you talk about a complementary good then if the price of sugar increases it might affect the quantity demanded of tea because you require sugar in tea so if sugar has become all of a sudden expensive then you might not want to consume tea as well because you would require the ultimately the price of tea has also increased for you because now you would have to purchase a, a an expensive sugar which you are using in the uh, preparation of tea so this will have a negative relationship and hence the elasticity will be less than 0